I've been thinking like what would <laughs> like what would the an evolution of Pokemon be on the Switch like they did Mario Odyssey, Legend of Zelda, all that stuff, right? Like one, the game, like, okay, I think they get, did a good thing with the water area. One, they need water areas. Like, honestly, what they should do. Anyways, guys, let's get this started. All right, guys, I hope you liked the beginning part of the video. It's like the best bits of my video. Well, I think it's the best bits of my video or what's important to part of the video. Anyways, uh, if you liked what you saw, can you please like, subscribe, and include the bell. It really helps my channel, especially since I'm trying to go to a thousand subscribers this year. Uh, every like counts, every subscription counts, and seeing the bell really tells the algorithm to pump out my videos or show them more people. Really helped out a lot. So let's get to the video, guys. Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. I'm going with Tuesday, guys. It is still extremely hot. We're going to be in a heat wave for like five days or so. I think it's going to be like 85 to like 90 degrees for like four or five days. And no, and it's supposed to rain too. It's supposed to be like thunderstorms tomorrow. And then, yeah, it's going to be hot and rainy, which is also fun. I mean, it's going to be very, very humid and very, very bad. We haven't put an air conditioner in yet because it's too early. Because after this, it's going to go down to like, down to like 60. So we don't, we're not, well, maybe after my dad gets his garden pump, we'll probably put him in. Because right now he has plants in the windows and it'll die from the cold. But I oh, will come back in a minute. So bye, guys. I'm back. <laughs> it, I just got done eating breakfast and it's 3 o'clock, which is pretty sad because I, I slept in really late. Because I've been extra, I've been working myself to death these last couple of days. I've been going nuts. But it's really hot out here. It's not too bad in the shade, but you step out in the sun, like right here. Woo! Sun beats down on you. Chickens are happy. They're all inside the... I got... Also, guys, I got like, super early this morning. Let the chickens out. Because I knew they was going to go nuts in the morning. And they was going to get hot. So I didn't want them being in there too hot. Got up and I went back to sleep. I slept until about 1. And then I'd been lazy all day. Not wanting to eat breakfast and stuff. But... Oh. Anyway, guys. I'm going to go back in now. Because it's windy out here. Well, this is windy day. And it's not like it's hot and bothered like yesterday. Yesterday was just heat and no wind. No nothing. It was just hot. Okay. So, <laughs> I've been complaining about Pokemon Sword and Shield for a while. Like, you guys know, it's not my... I think the DLC will help a lot with it, which I'm kind of upset that they didn't just make a free DLC because the game was very, 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 very bare bones. Like, there was no story, no exploring, just a straight shot, <laughs> and there wasn't even a story. Like, it was very linear. Like, most linear games have a really good story. Pokemon is usually more open-worldish. Like, I remember, like... Like, back in the old days, you could, like, you could technically take, like, any gym you kind of wanted in Kanto, and then, like, what was it? Like, you could get, like, all around, and then, and, like, I didn't really play, I'm not a big fan, okay, this is, this is my <laughs> secret thing. I'm gonna piss off a lot of fans of Pokemon, but, I'm not a huge fan of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. One of the reasons is, I do not like the starters in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. They're, <laughs> I don't know why, I just don't like any of them. Same, my, same, my, my same thing with black and white, but black and white makes up for it because it's like all new Pokemon and I don't, I don't really like a lot of black and white designs, but there are a few good ones. I don't know, black and white just, just Pokemon doesn't mess me up, but I really love the story in black and white. And black and white too, black and white too is, is better in my opinion. But, <laughs> anyways, anyways, I, <laughs> I did not like the starters. I don't know what it is, I just don't like any starters and that really ruins it. Like, if I don't like the starters, if I'm not a little bit, like, if I don't like the starters a tiny, tiny bit, I'm not... A big fan of the game so I don't know what that means like I like having my starter with me through the whole game that's probably why I, my favorite games are well wow. okay so my games probably go <laughs> this is kind of sad my favorite games probably go honestly my favorite games uh, uh, if you would ask me a couple years ago probably would have been the Kanto games like <laughs> like Leaf Green Fire Red but I'm probably leaning towards more towards probably uh Hoenn because that was my first version I ever played and I really really liked their starters which my favorite start of all time is Charmander but my favorite star trio of all time because I like every single one of them except for Mudkip is actually if I go by like my start my favorite stars of all time is Gen 4 which is why I love Gen 4 so much because I could use any of them starters and be happy with it they're just so awesome to tear for the win guys <laughs> anyways okay enough about all the starter stuff in Pokemon but so I've been thinking, like, what would, like, what would the, an evolution of Pokemon be on the Switch? Like, they did Mario Odyssey, Legend of Zelda, all that stuff, right? Like, one, the game, like, okay, I think they get, did a good thing with the water area. One, they need water areas. Like, honestly, what they should have done was it have, like, the whole, like, in Sword and Shield, they could have had, like, the same type, make Sword and Shield way less linear, okay? Just make it to where... Like, this would be my ideal Sword and Shield game, like, what upgrade? One, they need to upgrade the graphics and upgrade animations. Like, that is just, 
they don't have to be like triple A, like gear, like like they don't. They just gotta look good enough, right? Like right now, they look subpar as crap. Like they should go back and redo all the animations and then reuse them for the next ten years for all I care. But make them better. Like make the Pokemon actually move around and make the Pokemon static, like less dead and make them look alive, right? Like a la Gen Five because that was like the best animations ever. I don't think they probably could do that with with uh, Pokemon, but. And then they need to upgrade, like, textures. Like, the textures are horrible. And they also need to have... If they're going to do linear, then they need to have a better story. Like, the story in Short Sword is not existing, in my opinion. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> like, literally nothing. And another thing they need to add is sprawling dungeons. Like, make... Okay. You know, like, the mines you go through in this game? Like, they're just a straight shot. Make that a wild area of itself. Make it, like, a huge dungeon, like, uh... Mount Moon. Like, can you imagine, like, Mount Moon, like... A dungeon like the wild area like that would be awesome <laughs> like at least three or four like make like one main water this is how i would lay out uh the game i would have made it to where you get to the water like maybe after the first gym like it is now i think you get after the first gym and then you can go like all through the water like have the water like connect the entire region right like have one big water connect the entire region maybe like half the region like have the first wire connect like half the region and then they could have like a big mountain for like a dungeon area and then they could have had like another dungeon in like a dungeon stuff like a skyscraper or something like at the end where you go up the skyscraper elevator that could have been another kind of wild area ish you know it would have been nice like three or four water areas would have been nice and then they could have like one big huge mountain like mount moon or mount uh coronet from Sinnoh. like that's like my favorite place ever even though it's kind of confusing and then they could have had like Okay, let's go for four water areas, God. Like, they're not technical water areas. Like, one big water that connects the entire region. You can go to any gym you so choose to, but some of them are sectioned off by certain moves or stuff, you know, like the bike or whatever. So it's kind of still, like, even more open world, but it's not. You know what I mean? You can't, like, you can explore. You can't, like, go to gyms or whatever, you know? So it's still, like, kind of the same. And then at the end, like, the first four gyms could be, like, the first water area. And then the second water area could be, like, a huge sprawling mountain that connects. Like, maybe... Maybe have like one huge water area, and then in the middle of that water area have like a huge mountain that connects the second part of it, that connects to the other four badges or town. And then, at the end of the game, when you go like fight the evil team, which doesn't even exist in this game, honestly. At like, remember like, uh, the Rock of Hideout? Could you imagine that being a sword and shield, but like a water where it's like, Pokemon, like, just like a huge area, like, everyone's in, you can like battle, and there's like a, like, you can imagine you'll have like a skyscraper in it, like, these are like what I would have done. But, yeah, or like a giant mansion. Like, honestly, <laughs> I feel like the old games have more to offer than Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield is literally, the only dungeon that's in the game is like one or two mines, and they're literally just a straight shot you can get through it in three seconds. It is <laughs> unacceptable how much they took out. Like, for 40, but like, even like Sun and Moon was kind of like the corridor essential ever since like X and Y. X and Y was okay, it was bare bones too, but yeah, these are like my dream Pokemon game, you know, since they did it. Like I said, I think the DLC is going to alleviate some of these, but I'm kind of mad that it wasn't in the game. And plus, they announced it like two months after the game. So my idea is like, they rushed out Sword and Shield, now they're going to re-add stuff because people was pissed off because they're very, very bones and they're going to add the DLC. But, anyway guys, if you're watching this, comment below what your favorite ideal like Switch Pokemon game would have been like. Mine would be more open world, more wild areas, like a huge sprawling dungeon system, like at least two or three of those. And like, yeah, that's what I would have done. But... Anyways, guys, hey, much you done? I will come back in a few minutes. Bye, guys. I'm back. My mom and dad are here, right, mom? Right, dad? Are you talking crap over here? Do you see my corn cam up and it's two feet tall? Oh, my corn two feet tall. Oh, wow. I don't sound like that. I have a deeper voice. I got. What can you see my corn? Not that deep. Yeah, just going nuts all day. What's going nuts? She's going nuts with the antenna. I don't know. I don't know why she messes with it. Get the satellite back. Gee. Too much money. And you still didn't get local channels anyways. Yeah. 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 So yeah, exactly. So what? What? Get a job when you get the satellite. Hey, yeah. Hey, you go out there and help yeah. her. Yeah. You go help her. Now I'm working these. Ah. Get out of my way. Well, you get out of my way. Don't want to pause that. Yeah. What do you want? Why are you need a light for? So I see what I'm doing. <laughs> well, let me film it and I'll help you in a minute. It's good. Just give me a minute. 
So, I'm Dad, did you do anything? I some in... to eat. Did you do anything in your garden today, old man? Yeah, time. Oh, bull, you was home for five hours. Well, I had to watch Jake because somebody else didn't do it. And, that and takes I had you... to collect the eggs because somebody else didn't do it. And that takes five hours? Yes, it does. I don't think it does. I mean, to sex me. Me? Yeah, what took you so long getting home? My secret move. She stopped by a special club, did you? They're probably closed. <laughs> Make me dizzy how they was closed. <laughs> That's how I will know me. <laughs> <laughs> that you would know. Well, you could dance around. You make I don't dizzy. dance around. You're walking back and forth. Ooh, ooh. I'm clean shirt for crying out loud. It's clean. <laughs> Where? What's wrong with it? Mm. I don't see anything wrong with I'm it. A professional. Like yeah. you, you like with your crazy old I'm hair. I'm not on YouTube, baby day. Uh, yeah, you are. I hate I to tell know, you. I don't want to be. Well, you are, old man. Your mom's up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told her I'd help her as soon as I get done with this. I told her to wait just a minute. Like you, me, you have any like you too. You don't wait for no one to do anything. And someone does no, and you just go do it yourself. No, hurt yourself. Yes, you do. Baby, go help her. I will help her in a minute. Shut it off and go help her. Gee. Guys, I'll come back in a minute. I'm going to get into vlog. So, hi, guys. I'm back. It is really hot back here. Like, this area is super hot now since we fix all the holes and stuff in the wall and the door. It's really, really hot right here. Woo, baby. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I uh, didn't really do a lot today. Uh, basically, just talked to you guys about Pokemon and some other stuff. But, anyway, guys, talk to you guys tomorrow. Roll the outro. Alright, guys, you made this far to the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. But if you really want to check out more, there's two videos here, here, and you can subscribe by clicking this button thing here.